Hey YouTube, it's Kimiko back again with another video. Alright you guys, so I want to thank you guys for all the subscribers that I've gotten. Thank you for tuning in to Undeniably Narcissistic. And if you're new to the channel, welcome. If you're already a subscriber, welcome back. Alright guys, so today I wanted to talk about, um, as you see the title of the, the uh, video is going to be, is Did the Narcissist Really Love Me? You guys, before I get into it, make sure you hit the like button, make sure you hit subscribe, make sure you hit the bell notification, hit all so that you are notified when I upload another video. All right, you guys, so it's going to be hard to hear, but did the narcissist really love you? And I know you're searching somewhere in your heart and you're wondering and you're just ruminating about it and you just want to know, did they really love me? Did they really love me? Well, the answer is no. They never loved you. You have to think about it, you guys. They don't love themselves. So how are they going to love you? You ever heard that saying, you can't love somebody if you don't love yourself? They don't love themselves. These people are trouble. These people are sick in the mind. You know, they are nothing short of retarded, pretty much. You know, when you think about it. Um, they have an... A breakdown in their mind in their head and this is the reason why they do the things that they do you know they're selfish they're insecure Tr think about it if they told you exactly who they were and what type of person that they were when you met them you would have never fucked with them in the first place so the answer is no they don't love you they don't love their children they don't love their wives they don't love their long-term girlfriends they don't love none of the other victims that they come in contact with you have to remember that these narcissists, they sought you out. They knew that they were going to meet you before you even met them. Before the, you you were praying to God that, you know, somebody would come into your life that you could be compatible with, that you, you want to be in a relationship with, that would just love you and you can love them and be in a relationship with them. Y'all, I said it before and I'll say it again. Once you get your head straight, once you get your mind right, you will realize that all this shit was a game to this person, not to you. And it won't phase you as much. Once you can start thinking clearly and thinking straight, you will realize and understand that these motherfuckers are ridiculous. They are degenerates. They are reprobates. They are um, just nothing shy of the devil. You know? These so self-centered ass fuckers they're nothing you know what i mean they are just just ridiculous just stupid and ugh just oh my god <laughs> this narcissist y'all i'm telling you they got to be stopped they got to be stopped because they ain't shit you know they live with terror every day and every night they don't sleep because they know they ain't shit and they know that they've done so many bad things to other people now i want like I always do, you guys, I always, when I do a video, I tell you a little scenario about an experience that I had. And let me tell you, one that comes to mind is, okay, does this person love me? Hell no, they don't love me. They don't love their kids. They don't love their woman, their wife, nobody. They don't even love themselves. They can't because they're living in a false self. They can't even be their real self because they know their real self ain't shit. So this motherfucker that I used to fuck with, with his stupid fucking ass, just stupid, child ass mind, childlike, immature ass fucker. Um, so he used to send a lot of money to me, Western Union. He would also let me have his Com Data card information and tell me to go to the truck stop and write out a Com Data check. Uh, go get three hundred dollars. Go get four hundred dollars. You know how to do it. You know how to write a Com check. You know, and so how you do that is you would just call over the phone and you would just have the money authorized onto a check and that check you take it to the, the truck stop and you have it cashed. Um, and then you walk out with your 300 or your $400 and he would do this faithfully all the time. I mean, like when we first got together, it was like at least three times a week this motherfucker was saying, go get some money off the comp data card. Now also what he would do is every time we would get a hotel which was very frequent at least four times a month we would meet up somewhere and we'll get a hotel 
And um, even when we would go on trips, you know, everything, I did all the um, the reservations. Um, it was through his cards, but it was through my email so that I could then be able to take care of any business or any correspondence through the hotels or the resorts so that um, I could then take care of the business. Now, in order to do all these things, in order to have a person's card number, because it wasn't just his comm data card, it was his actual credit card, his debit card, you have to have the address that these things are billed to. So, um, he, I had his address. I knew his address. I knew it by heart. I was able to recite it freely when I made the reservation so that I, they could go ahead and build the car. So you tell me if this motherfucker really loves his wife or really loves his child. If he's giving his mistress, which I'm calling myself a mistress because that's exactly what I was. I wasn't I wasn't his main woman. I didn't know any of this, of course. I'm thinking I'm his fucking woman, you know. But who does that? Give a motherfucking, another woman, their card number with their address, knowing good and well his wife lives there and his underage child lives there. Now, I'm rolling all up and down this road. I'm all over the country and shit. I could pull up any fucking time I wanted to and... You know, not that I would pose harm to these people, nor do I want to sit down and have tea with them either, but it's just the whole principle of you would sit up and give someone else your information, knowing that that's where your wife is and knowing that that's where your um, underage child lays her head and knowing that you're never there. He's always on the road his damn self. He ain't never there. So... And then I come to find out that he was doing this to more than just me because I would notice that there would be periods of time that he would want to draw off all the money off of his card. And the reason why he would do that is because obviously he doesn't give it to somebody else too. And either they done found out that he ain't shit and go, they would then go and try to withdraw money off of his card that he didn't authorize. So he want to get all the money off before they get to it first. And what he told me, I asked him, why would you do that? Why would you give me that information knowing that that's where your child and your wife live? Like, and I could pull up at any time, you know what I mean? Putting this family in danger, just a fucking stupid ass fucking idiot. Ugh, fucking stupid ass idiot. That's all I could think. This motherfucker is a fucking idiot. A fucking idiot. But anyway, um... He said, because I wanted you to know that I trusted you. I wanted to show you that I trusted you enough with giving you that information. Um, and I needed you to handle the business. So, you know, therefore you could go and handle the business at will when you needed to. But at the same time, I wanted you to know that I trusted you. I wanted to show you that I trust you. And this is what this particular motherfucker, I don't know about anybody else. I don't know if. I'm sure there's some stupid ass fucking narcissists out there, but because they all are very childlike, you know, they have the mentality of a fucking five year old, literally, literally. I mean that shit. They might be out here doing all kind of shit. Some of them are in Fortune 500 companies, the whole nine, but their mentality is of a fucking child. Um. So what he said to me was that he did it so that I would trust him, but um, I was. I done lost my train of thought. But yeah, anyway, just the whole point of it is, is who would do that? You know what I mean? And like I said, he obviously was doing it with other women to gain their trust. That's what I was going to say. To gain their trust so that then he could start degrading you and then discard you, but then go withdraw off all the money. So once you as the victim find out what's going on, you won't go and empty this fucking bank account. Now he had come to me a couple of different times. I mean, I probably about four times and said some shit about, Oh, somebody hacked into my account. Somebody got my money off my account. And I bet you it was other bitches that found out that he wasn't shit. And that's, what was going on you know he even came to me and this could have been a big ass lie uh, or somebody could have been withdrawing the money he said some shit about um uh oh device temperature is currently too low okay i gotta hurry up you guys because the sun is shining on my phone and i don't want the video to go dark so let me hurry up but anyway yeah so 
um, he had said to me on several occasions, that, like at least twice or even three times. One, he said that his um, CPA, which is your certified personal assistant, who takes care of all your money when you are an owner operator and you file your taxes and they, they get all your money and they pay your bills and different things like that. Um, said that they had got him for $125,000 and just closed up the business. And when he went to the business, the whole business was dark and nobody was there and they had took him for his money. Then he turned around and told me he wasn't married and that he was divorced and the reason why he was divorced was for two reasons. It's because he went, walked in and found his wife in bed with his best friend, which his wife confirmed. He ain't even got no best friend. He ain't even got no friends. That's what she said. <laughs> this motherfucker right here. Fucking crazy. But anyway, um, and then the second time he said that uh, the IRS was getting him for um, money and he was going to have to go they was going to put him in prison if he didn't pay all, all this money. But I think what it was was some woman done went into his account. Oh, he said his wife um, took all his money, withdrew the, the account and took all the money out. She probably did because she probably found out about so many women that he was fucking and screwing around with, you know, because she can't tell me that I was the only one that made a phone call to her. She was just too understanding about the situation and was asking the questions that she were asking me which that's gonna be a whole nother video y'all but the questions she was asking me let me know that i'm not the first one that gave her a call but anyway um yeah just to say that back to the subject of the video no they don't love you so sorry to break the news to you but once you get back in your right mind you'll realize and you'll see and you'll start unraveling all the lies and playing all the scenarios in your head to realize no they didn't love you anybody that's gonna gaslight you that's gonna project and uh switch shit around blame shame and all this old bullshit discard you you know all the shit that they said that they liked about you then they turn around and they make fun about you and bring it back up when you tell them your most personal intimate uh thoughts and and things that have gone on with you and then they turn around and they throw it back up in your face that's not love don't nobody love you that's gonna do that and then turn around and ghost you and just out of your life just boom in a split second this motherfucker that you done spent all this time with that you done you know swap souls with because that's what the intimacy when you have sex with a person you swapping souls and that's where that trauma bond comes in that 